Yo, what is up guys, it's OC God here today with a tutorial on how to do cinematic flow in Sony Vegas. So basically, I already got some clips right here, I got a 360 right here on RAID. Um, let's quickly uh, disable resample, and let's get rid of the audio segment, and that's it. And then uh, I got my cinematic right here, do the same as well, we'll disable resample, and we'll get rid of the audio. So basically right now, I got my clip right here, I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up, I'm gonna add some markers. Uh, to add markers, uh, as a reminder, it's with M. So, I'm gonna go to the part where the bass drops. Uh, just hold on a second. And right there it drops. Alright, we can sync this up real quick. Alright, let's fade in the song a little bit so that way it can sound a bit better. Let's go ahead and... To fade it in, you just go on the side and you go to the, to the right. Um, let's go ahead and find where he shoots. As soon as we find that, we can place that on the marker we just have placed. So to cut, you press S, and you move that to there. You move that to the bass drop. We'll we basically do that, we'll do a little tiny fade in. There's no need to really add anything over here. Yep. That's good. I'm gonna add in a couple more markers. Hold on, hold up a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cinematic right now. So we can go ahead and delete this part, and let's bring in our cinematic. Um, let me just cut this up a little bit. So yeah, now for the cinematic flow. Uh, we can add in a little bit of velocity, that'll always help out with the cinematic flow. I'll show you my velocity settings real quick. Um, oh yeah, okay, let me just start this from zero. To pick velocity, you, you right click, you go to insert, remove, and envelop, and you click velocity. And you'll, it'll appear a green line in the middle of the clip. You go up with the green line, you press shift, and you place a marker with a, and you right click and place, place a marker. Right there you got your marker. So let's place two more markers and one on the right and one on the left and let's put this down to around about 31 or 38 since it's a trick shot clip and it's a 60 FPS clip. If it were, I don't know, 600 FPS clip we could place this on 10 if we wanted to. So basically what I did right here is just uh, put this line on fast fade, the, the left line on fast fade, and I put the right line on the slow fade, so that it'll give us a little tiny effect. Uh, right now it's looking a bit laggy because the, it, the frame rate on this clip is not too good right now. Alright. It's okay for now. Well, let's move on to the cinematic. Let me just speed this up a little bit because this is a slow cinematic, so let me just speed that up. And let's add in velocity over here. Just do the same, everything is the same. That's the velocity part. We could place this to a 17 since we speeded it up. So we can put down fast and we can put down slow. Uh, let's pre-render this and see how it looks like uh, all, all together. Okay, let's go ahead and place some more markers. I might speed up this part real quick. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to check out, I just wanted to place one marker. And uh, that's, you'll see what, later what we'll do with that marker. So basically for the main part, how I do my pan crop and how I sync everything together and how I do cinematic flow. Um, with our first keyframe, we go into pan and crop. Uh, with our first keyframe, what we basically do is just go a little bit in front. It's like my normal pan crop tutorials. 
and we go to the end of the clip and then we go three spaces back and we restore this simple and then we put this keyframe on slow and we put the first keyframe on fast and then we take the last keyframe and we go in front like this no I mean you have to go to the last segment of the clip and you make another keyframe and this has to go all the way in like like what I just did right there and you should sort of get it like a you see it sort of it sort of flows together we can add in a little bit of twixter uh, we can add in a little bit of twitch I'll just speed this up real quick I've made many tutorials on this so you could just go back and watch them so yeah I'll speed this up real quick Okay, there we go. I made my. I already made my Twitch, and looking pretty nice for now. And we just do the same with the pan and crop. We can add. I can add in another cinematic, for example. Uh, that way, you guys can get more of an idea on how to do this. I'll just add in one more quick, and I'll do this uh, pan and crop real quick. I can. Sp I'll, I'll probably speed this part of the tutorial. It's basically all the same. You go. You're the first keyframe you go in front you place it on fast then you go to the end you go three spaces back you restore this you put this on slow and then you go to the last keyframe and you go in front where well, you go all the way in front and you put that on fast and it always give you the same effect it always look very nice everything will sync together so I'll speed this up real quick I'll go and probably place in another cinematic real quick Okay guys, I'm back. So, let's repeat this one last time. Uh, I already got my cinematic right here. Let's go ahead and put in velocity. Yep, a little tiny cinematic. It might not look too good, but this is just to repeat everything we have done in this tutorial. So you place in your velocity, you add in the four markers, You the two markers in the middle, you put it down. Put it down, I'm gonna put it to 10 in this case. And that's about it. And then you add in your pan crop, your common pan crop. Bam. Put three spaces back. Bam. And then in front for it to flow. And bam. Bam. You, you go fast on the last keyframe. You go slow on the other on the other keyframe, and then you go fast on the first keyframe. We'll add in twitch real quick. And like that. That looks about good. And for the beats, let's go ahead and explain this beat real quick. Um, I usually add in little tiny effects on the beats, like uh, like levels. I don't add in too much more. So let's add in levels. Let me go back one space. And wait, wait. Once you add in levels, I forgot to explain. You have to uh, click animate on input end and you go to the marker that you place for the beat and you go back one keyframe you uh, you basically create a keyframe and then you go one in front and you put this at around I usually like to put it around 456 or 400 or 500 and then you go in front a couple of keyframes and then you put that down to a thousand and I'll basically create a little tiny effect. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more tutorials. Leave su suggestions. And peace, guys.